Hey guys, how we doing? It's not one for ball gloves. Today we're gonna break in the new denim crown tip. I got this a week ago, I wanna say. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I got this like five days ago. All I did to it was just put a little bit of oil. It came a little bit dry, even though the chestnut leather from 44 is already a pre-oiled leather. Um, I just put a little bit of oil just to get it to soften up a little bit. It came like this for some reason, even though I got it pro stiff. I don't know, maybe they accidentally gave it a break in. Doesn't matter, I don't care, it's still great. Before you start breaking in the glove, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a mallet. You're gonna need some kind of glove oil. It could be oil, butter, it doesn't matter. I use this right now because I ran out of my Franklin Doctor glove. This is really good stuff. I usually just use my fingers to apply it. It works really well. If you'd like, you could also use Neat's foot oil. Uh, I heard this like really breaks in your gloves pretty well. I used the Neat's foot oil and just a little bit of catch to get the uh, the mesh crown tip to this. Uh, you're also gonna need <clears throat> a baseball and a bucket or a pail of some sort. Oh, and also a rag and a towel. Um, could, could be both, either or, doesn't matter. I use both. All right, let's get it started. All right, so before you get started, you always just wanna prep your space. Uh, you wanna put your towel. It could be magazines, it could be a towel. Fold it a few times. You got a nice service for you to pound your glove on. So the first thing you want to do after you set up your space, um, I always like to just put a little bit of oil on the glove before I give it the hot water treatment, just so that the water won't seep into the pores too much and won't get the glove too wet. So what I do, I just take the glove butter on my fingers just like that and just rub it in. It's, it's not gross. It's really it just, again, the consistency is like butter. That's why they call it glove butter. Wow. I'm just going to rub that inside the glove, like on the palm of the glove, basically where you want to run the hot water on. This might darken the leather a little bit, but it's okay because eventually it, the, the color comes back. Unless you use the Neats Foot Oil, this will darken your glove forever, but this could be a good aesthetic depending on how you like your gloves to look. So you're just going to rub that in. You want to make sure to get the laces as well. You get everything that's leather, everything you want to put the hot water on, you got to cover that with the with the glove cream, the oil, whatever you're using. I'm already really liking the color that it's getting right there. All right, so after that's out of the way, you wanna go over to the sink and fill up the bucket with some hot water. So while we wait for the water to heat up, it's always important to remember, the water has to be too hot for you to handle, but not too hot for your mom to handle. Yeah, it's hot enough. So we're just gonna fill that up. That should be about enough. This is how the glove is looking right now before any of the hot water is on it. What I'm gonna do right now is put some Neats foot oil on the palm because I want the palm to have a really nice dark palm stain on it. To do that, you just take your rag, uh, microfiber, cloth, towel, whatever. Take your Neats foot oil. That should be about enough. This is gonna make your glove a lot darker, so I don't recommend for anyone that, that doesn't like the look of darker gloves. I'm just gonna grab that little part where it's, it has the oil on it. I'm just gonna go more or less in a circle like that. Yeah, just like that. That's also where I wanna make the pocket of the glove. So it's also best to do it right there. That's more or less a little bit how I want it to be. You can always reapply more oil later after you're done, but now that the glove is covered in oil, it's ready to be hot watered. I also forgot for the hot water treatment, you're also gonna want a cup. Uh, any cup is fine. What you wanna do is you wanna hold the glove over the water, over the sink or whatever, and you're gonna hold the glove up like this because you don't want the water to go into the finger stalls. You're gonna hold the glove up like this so it can just splash off the palm. Just like that, just right over the palm. I don't know why I stuck my hand in the glove. Water is really hot. Just let it fall right over the palm. Don't let it fall into the glove. You can do it over the top as well. I'm only gonna do a little bit though, because I actually don't wanna get the fur wet. So I'll hold it down like this. Just do this right over the top. Missed the spot right here. 
All right, so already the gloves should feel a lot more malleable. Yeah, that feels a lot more malleable already. So just gonna do a little bit more. It's important to focus on the heel and the palm because that's where uh, you wanna break in the glove first. So right after you finish hot watering your glove, uh, you wanna go right to malleting, right to using your mallet. You wanna establish your break points. On the heel, you wanna establish the pocket. Just beat the glove. Uh, I'm bringing this in to the pinky, so it's gonna have a little bit of a deeper pocket, so I'm gonna find that break point right about there, I wanna say. Yeah, right there. I wanna find that break point just like that. Fold the glove. It's a glove, you can use it, you can beat it, it's fine. It's not gonna break, it's leather. You just wanna hit that break point right there. Oh, I also wanna flare it, so give it a nice flare, just like that. Don't be scared to flare the glove. Don't be scared to, you know, uh, manipulate it. You wanna, you know, stretch the fingers out a little bit as well. Because after you hot water it, the water isn't to isn't only to break it in, the water is also to give the glove a nice form. So after you hot water it, just you know do whatever you're gonna do with the fingers. Pound the pocket again. So you wanna you wanna beat those creases and folds out. Go back to the uh, break point and do this. This is why it's important to have the towel or the magazines on the bottom so that you don't scrape the uh, glove on whatever hard surface you're doing it on. Grass is really good to break in gloves on. Just like that. Pound the pot again. Look at that. Get the web as well. See, the only downside of hot water and glove is that if you have like some gold stamping or some silver stamping on the on the uh, heel, it might wear off. Like uh, my stamping is already wearing out, but it's okay. I don't really care because uh, it's gonna wear out anyway. Again, when your glove is still warm from the hot water, that's when you want to give it the form. Uh, to the pinky, finger in. Yeah, this is pretty much the form I want to give it. And already, I'm pretty sure I can use this in a game of catch already. It's not game ready, but. From how it was before, this is great. Go like this to it. That's already phenomenal. That's already really good. All right guys, so this is what the glove is looking like right now. Obviously it's darker because of the hot water and the oil, but that'll clear up once you set it to dry. You wanna set it to dry for maybe 12 hours, maybe even a day. Um, the only downside is that the, um, the gold foil on the uh, heel is it's wearing out, but it's no big deal. I don't really care. It still doesn't take away from the look of the glove. Already, I can play catch with this. This is already catch ready. One last thing, guys. It's always important to remember that the best way to break in a glove is by playing catch. Try and play catch as much as you can because that's how you're gonna get the most natural form out of the pocket. What I just did is just another way to speed up the process. You don't have to break in a glove that way, but it's always important to at least put some oil on the glove because it helps keep the uh, leather from drying out. If leather dries out, it starts to crack. Laces can become brittle and snap. Just, you know, a regular application of glove oil, maybe if you play a lot, maybe once a month. If you don't play all that often, just maybe before you're gonna start playing, like you have it up on the shelf during the winter, but then the summer comes, that's when you wanna oil it right before you start playing. When I break in my gloves, I put a lot of oil on it. People say that just, that just makes the glove heavier, but not for me, I don't really care about that kind of stuff. This is the break and I have in it already. It's not game ready, but I'm really happy on how this turned out. Try and do that with a baseball, you can play some couch catch. All right, that's pretty much it guys. As you can see, I'm, I'm sweating quite a bit from this. It is a lot of hard work. Uh, but again, don't be scared to manipulate the leather. Don't be scared to beat it because look, already I can pretty much close it. Like I said before, my methods don't have to be your methods and your methods don't necessarily have to be someone else's. Everyone breaks in their gloves differently. I like to do a little bit of everything to my gloves. Some people don't like to put oil. Some people like to do everything. Some people like to microwave. I don't know why. 
Microwaving is not good. Don't microwave your gloves. Don't steam your gloves. You don't have to steam your gloves. Hot water is just fine. You don't have to use hot water, um, especially if you have like a glove with colors on it, like a camel and blue glove or like a white and red glove. You don't have to hot water because the colors can run. But on a glove like this, natural colors, the colors aren't really gonna run all that much. So even if they do, it doesn't really matter. Um, I only do hot water maybe once or twice, usually only once. I only did it once on the mesh glove and I haven't really been playing ca that much catch with it and it's already pretty much, it's almost game ready. Uh, this is just after one day of breaking it in in hot water and it's already pretty much the same as that one. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe for more. I'm gonna be having a couple more videos out this week. I have a training bat coming in maybe today or tomorrow. It's like a 43 ounce training bat. Uh, I also have maybe a collection video coming up since now I have quite a few gloves I can make a collection video. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll catch you on the flip